Welcome back. This time I'm going to take a departure from the fighting games and look at a really, really awesome um, horizontal uh, shoot 'em up or shmup that goes by the name of Blazing Star. It came out in 1998. It's rated at 346 megs. Um, and it's developed by uh, Yu Mei Kobo, I believe. And this is the sequel to Polestar, another um, schmuck on the Neo Geo. And basically the plot in a nutshell is that you have uh, two planets that are having an interplanetary war. And supposedly this uh, being it comes into controlling these planets in keeping with them still having this war. And basically putting him under his control. And basically six pilots decide that they're not going to tolerate this shit and basically rebel against the um, being that's controlling them. So, and that's what it is. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Alright, like I said, basically it's simplistic gameplay. It's a shmup, and so basically you're only using, of course, your joystick, uh, your A button to shoot, and you can hold down your A button, and you can unleash like a more powerful attack. If you hold down your A, and then you hold with your A and the B button, you can release like a, um, like a bomb or explosive type of attack. Alright, so we have ship, like six ships to pick from. Alright. Alright, uh... Doo -doo 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 -doo. That looks like a cool ship. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna point up here, I'm not the greatest at this genre, so you're probably gonna see me die a lot. You're gonna see a lot of nice uh, visual um, effects this game. It uses um, like a pseudo, uh, a pseudo 3D uh, rendered um, type of look. It's like pre-rendered graphics, which absolutely look really awesome. And the music is probably some of the best music I've ever heard in a game. Just look at the lush environments and all how beautiful. And like I said, this is a 1998 game. And it looks gorgeous. Now, like I said, even though I'm not a fan of this genre... Ah, oh shit, I went into the ground. Um... I can appreciate like the, the quality that this game actually um, exudes. It's really awesome. And to me, it's a bit difficult, the game. But like I said, I'm not used to um, shmup, so that's probably the reason why. As you can see right now, if you're looking at the graphics, they're really, really um, awesome to look at. Look at the sky, how it's scrolling, foreground, the background, beautifully detailed uh, graphics, very beautiful. It shows you some of the power that the Neo Geo can do. Also, too, as you see, when you get um, shot down, kind of like the game insults you. It's a cute little touch, I guess. Fuck. But like I said, if you're a fan of the genre, this is a definite game you want to check out. Because it's available for the uh, Neo Geo MVS, of course. Which can be a little pricey. Um, it's available for the AS, which is probably roughly going for no less than a thousand dollars for the Japanese version, and it did not, as far as I know, come to the uh, Neo Geo CD. I know Polestar did, but I don't think this game came to it. Bonus! 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 
So, I mean, and I believe it also came, if I'm not mistaken, to the iPad, which is pretty cool, I guess. But, like I said, even though if you can't afford or can't get a chance, I mean, the iPad, I guess almost almost everybody has one of those, check it out. Or, um, like I said, like I said, I'm not always for emulation, though, but um, I highly urge you to check, even if you're a casual fan of um, shooters or a diehard um, fan of shooters, it's definitely one you want to check out. Look at all the different effects that are going on in the background. Like, everything in this game is animated very well. Just trying to survive till I hit to the balls. Like I said, it's um, a pretty difficult game. But some say, who are actual diehard um, schmucks fans, say it's really easy. I mean, it depends on how you're looking at it. But for me, I consider it quite challenging. But just look at all the different enemies, the colors. The only thing else that I can... My only gripe is, I said, other than the difficulty, it's just the announcer, the chick in this game, is fucking brutal. Every time she says, um, a bonus. Oh, that gets shit gets annoying after a while. Alright, but there's not much more to actually say about this game. I mean, you can tell looking at it, it's just a beautiful, um, game to look at. Um... To me, honestly, if you were going to spend for an expensive game, whether it's for the AS for MVS, you know what? I wouldn't blame somebody if they actually did put out a pretty penny for this game. Because, in all honesty, I think it's kind of worth it. Because it's just a really um, interesting game, really nice, especially for the time period it came out. See, as you can see, it keeps on insulting. Are you serious? Alright, then, like I said, I'm going to leave you with um, a little bit of gameplay. And I'm out of here. Like I said, I highly, highly, highly recommend this game. There's no reason why you should not get this game at all. Or at least try an emulation if need be. Alright, then, take care. A poor player. Nothing like a game to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> 